Hey, it's Jones Law and helping you make the best choices with your time so you can thrive. If you followed my work for any amount of time, you know that I love beekeeping. One of the parts of beekeeping I don't love, however, is cleaning old racks, ones that are filled with honeycomb from previous hives. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna get to it, but I don't. And so they're sitting around in the way and I find that, that it's frustrating because I wanna quickly you know, start a new hive or, or get the, the, to the, the racks out and use them, but I can't because they're not clean. Finally, this Saturday, I stopped what I was doing borrowed a pressure washer and spent over three hours cleaning this and over 100 of those racks so that I would have them ready to use the next time I wanted to start a hive. I can now be a more productive beekeeper. Um, in the same way, I think we all have a mess that we need to clean up of some kind to help us to be more productive. What does that look like in your world? Well, I think it takes one or more of three shapes. The first one is physical mess you know, stuff that you need to go through to help you to be more productive. Maybe it's books you've got sitting around. Maybe it is, you know, just the way you've got your, your office set up, but physically changing things so you can be more productive. The second type of mess is technology mess. Uh, your inbox, um, you know, how productive are you when you open your, your email and you've got over 500 emails there that you keep going, oh yeah, I need to go through some of them. Maybe it's time for you to stop <laughs> and clean out that inbox so you can start fresh. Or just how you're filing stuff. How easy is it for you to find the files on your laptop? And maybe even your, 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 your phone. How easy is it for you to use the apps on your phone? Are you having to swipe through and try to find them and use the search feature instead of stopping to clean up the mess? Since I don't need that app anymore. I don't need that app anymore. Let's put these apps on the front screen so I can get to them quickly. The third type of mess I think many of us have that we don't like to talk about as it relates to productivity is relationship mess. Maybe you've been so busy you haven't managed well um, relationship with one of your, your colleagues at work, or maybe it's your boss, or maybe if it's somebody outside your family. You're saying, Jones, what's that got to do with productivity? I think you know. When you're trying to focus, your mind is reminding you, yeah, you know, you're not getting along so well with so-and-so and it pulls us out of the moment instead of what we really want to focus on. Invest some time this week to begin improving those relationship messes um, so that your mind will let you focus on the task that's in front of you. This is Jones Loft and I hope you take some time this week to clean up the messes in your world so you can rack up greater productivity. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today in the Jones Zone.